Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Steve from Shock Extreme Productions as well as Shock Extreme One on YouTube. And welcome back to Body Bags. Thank you once again for joining us. I just don't like the way my headphones sit up in my head, so I'm just going to wear them like this for now on, um, just so I can hear my audio. But um, this is week 55 here in Body Bags, and this week is Scream Factory Week. Um, I believe this is a theme that everybody on Body Bags likes. I know JP is probably the biggest Screen Factory fan and for a good reason. It's an amazing company. Um, for me when it comes to Screen Factory, I don't own as much because the Blu-rays they put out are a little on the expensive side and they keep putting them out like really fast, which is a good thing, but uh, most of the time I just, one, can't keep up, two, really can't afford until they drop in price a little bit. But the one big thing I'm getting soon from Screen Factory is of course the Halloween box set, so excited for that. Um, but for this week I decided to choose something that uh, was probably the first Screen Factory Blu-ray I owned. Unfortunately I don't have the copy here with me, but it's a fantastic Blu-ray, I love it. The movie itself is, it's really cheesy but it's a good one, and that is Terror Vision, made in 19, released in 1986, directed by Ted Nicolo. This one was really, really weird if you ask me. You know what, fuck it, I'm just going to put these up in my head. Really, really bizarre movie, but a fun one. Basically, this family, family. Basically, this family gets a new TV satellite so they can watch a bunch of these different channels. Like back when satellites were huge, and you could get tons and tons of channels. Um, and the satellite ends up picking up reset. It's kind of hard to explain. It picks up this one alien life form from a distant planet, and it transports the alien to the house in a way and the computer oh there we go and it transports the alien to the house and you know the alien starts eating certain people and um you know the people in the house they have to decide what they're going to do with it but then they actually kind of like it um they kind of find it as like a friendly type person you know james rolf the angry video game there said this in his review it almost reminds you the alien it almost reminds you of like a reject muppet character and i can actually really see it um but you know they start to befriend the alien it turns out that the alien is actually a pet from a distant planet but what happens is when the pets turn bad i guess um their molecules are sent through space or something like that. Um, and then eventually they are trying to find a way of how to send the alien back. And there are more subplots throughout the story. We meet, you know, Medusa, the Elvira character, um, and we meet some other characters, but that's basically the plot. My thoughts, you know, it's 1980s, it's really cheesy. Um, I really enjoyed it. I actually thought it was a pretty good film. I haven't seen it in a few months though, so, you know, probably when I get home that's going to be one I want to watch, but, uh, for the movie itself, I would probably rate it at a 6.5 out of 10, um, but for the Blu-ray being the Screen Factory Blu-ray, the Blu-ray was fantastic. It includes Terrorvision and the Video Dead. Um, Video Dead, that's another story I'll review eventually. Gotta see that one again. But um, just for the Screen Factory Blu-ray, I'd probably rate the set at probably 9.5 out of 10. Great set, great Blu-ray, and it's been one that I've been waiting for for a long time. Not just for Terror Vision, but I also wanted the video dead because that apparently never came to um, DVD or Blu-ray. But for the set itself, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. Great job, Screen Factory. Alright guys, that was my review for you guys today. Hope you all enjoyed. If you like this review or any of the other reviews, definitely subscribe to Body Bags. Like, comment, share, whatever you guys do. Once again, my name is Steve from Shocking Street Productions, and until next time, see you all later.